You got it about done? Let's give it a try. Were you start? Is did this help you at all? Get the hang of this? I hope. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. I hope so. We'll see, huh? We'll, we'll find out. Yes. We have now 10.35 percent. 10.35 percent. I want to change that to a decimal. Now, there's two ways I'm going to think of this. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to understand that the decimal must be a smaller looking number than the percent. You with me on that? If I made that 1,035, that's making it bigger. I don't want to do that. I know the decimal has to be a smaller looking number. So if I move to the right, I went the wrong way. So this means I need to move to the left on this one. A percent to a decimal, I'm moving to the left. It's like that, listen, listen carefully, what you're doing here. If you're changing from a percent to a decimal, you're dividing by 100. Or multiplying by 1 over 100, the same thing. You're dividing by 100. If you're changing from a decimal to a percent, you're multiplying by 100. It's either moving the decimal two spots left or two spots right. That's all you're doing here. Multiplying or dividing by 100. If you got the percent already, you're dividing. If it doesn't have the percent, you're multiplying to get that percent. So in our case right here, you had to go two spots left and you get 0 0.1035. Did you get that one? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Yes. yes. Okay. How about that one? Does it have a percent already? No. no. In order to get a percent, I've got to multiply it by 100. So am I going to move to the left or right? Right. right. How many spots? Two. It's always two. It's always two. No matter what, it's always two. 3.5. Just 3.5? Percent. Uh, you better show me the percent. One number should have the percent, one number shouldn't. The percent should look bigger than the decimal. The percent looks bigger than the decimal. Yeah, it does. Now, here, I have a percent or a decimal right here? Decimal. I need to change that to a percent. So I do I move left or right? Left. It's already. Oh, right. It doesn't have the percent. So I'm multiplying 100. That means it's either 0 0.0456 or 456. Which one is it? What? Percent. Again, the way you double check your work, make sure the percent looks like a bigger number. Does 456 look bigger than 4.56? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Does 10.35, uh, that's the percent, right? Does that look bigger than 0 0.1035? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The percent should look like a bigger number than the decimal. One point two four percent. Left? So right. Left, left. Left. How many spots? Two. Okay. That means I'm gonna get zero one. How many got that one just out of curiosity? Point zero one two four. Great job, okay. And you could put the zero up front, doesn't matter. Uh, I like two occasionally. Does the percent look bigger than the decimal? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're getting we're on the right track. How about 123 percent? 123 percent. What's that going to give you? One point. Where's the decimal though? You got to create one, right? Yeah. You got to create that decimal. If you move it two spots, you get 1.23. 1.23. Okay, four more left. I've got a decimal. I need to create a, a make a percent out of that. <coughs> To make a percent, am I going to go to the left or go to right. the right? right? How many spots? Two. So you should get. 0.4%. Percent. Don't forget the percent. One of these numbers has to have a percent on it if you're going to change between them. 12.95, that doesn't have a percent. I'm going to make a percent out of that. That means I'm multiplying by 100. That means I'm moving the decimal to the right two spots. You should get 1,295%. Percent. It's a big percent. I give a thousand percent effort. Point zero four six percent. Point zero four six percent. Oh my goodness! How do we change that into a decimal? Which way do we move that? To the left. To the left. Wait, to the left. There's nothing to the left. To the right. So this means you're dividing by a hundred, right? Yeah. That means that means you're going to make that number smaller. Remember, the decimal needs to look like a smaller number. 
If I moved it this way, I'd have 4.6, right? Mm -hmm. That would look bigger than my, my percent, not smaller. I need the decimal to look smaller than the percent for every problem. So this says to the left, it's got to be 0 0.000446. 0 0 0 0 How many people got that one? That was a tricky one. Good for you. Last one, 9.1%. Again, two spots to the left. You get 0 0.091. Do you have a better feeling about changing from percent to decimal and decimal to percent? Good, okay. We should be rock solid now because that's kind of something you need in your real life, isn't it? To be able to do that. One other thing that we can do, we can write fractions back as, as percentages. This is going back to what we did. So if we think of 3 elevenths and we want to write that as, as a percent, what you really need to know is that when you're trying to get a percent, you multiply by 100. And when you're trying to eliminate a percent, change from percent to a decimal, you multiply by 1 over 100 or divide by 100. That's the same operation. And so in our case here, if we want to make this into a percent, Oops, that's not right. We're going to be multiplying just like we did over these here with these numbers, multiply by 100 percent. No, just the top, because really what you're doing, you're multiplying by 100 percent over one. So in order to create a percent. You multiply by 100%. This is because a percent has parts over 100, right? We want to say, by the way, do you want to see that this is actually equivalent to 1? I'll show, I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Check, check this out. 100%. Follow me along here. You don't have to write this down. Just watch. Same thing as 100 times 1%, right? Yeah. 100 times 1% is 1 over 100. True? Yeah. Yes. Equals 1. You're actually only multiplying by 1. That's what you're doing. But you're multiplying by 1 in a special way to create a percent. Do you see the difference there? Yes. You're really not changing the value. Okay. That's why these are all equivalent. They're all the same. It just makes a difference whether you have a percent there or a fraction there and a percentage at the very end. So really when we're multiplying by uh, 100 percent, we are multiplying by one in a very unique way to create a percentage. We only do it to the numerator. So you're going to get, follow me along here, 300 over 11 percent. You follow? Can you change it back to a mixed number? Yes. Yeah, do it in your calculator if you want. Put in 300 over 11 using your fraction button, press enter, it will automatically reduce that for you if it can and change it to a mixed number. You should get like, what is that? 27. Is it still a percent? This was the opposite of what we did just a moment ago, changing our mixed number percents into, into fractions. If you went backwards, you'd get that back again. You'd get that exact fraction back. Do you still feel OK with this? Now, I'll show you one more thing. This is on your calculator. Oh, by the way, if I, we're not going to do this example. I just want you to make you aware of this one. Maybe we will do it. Let's do this one together. What's the first thing we would do on this problem? One and one-seventh as a percent. What do we need? Question. Well, you change this into a mixed number. Divide 300 by 11. It's going to be 27 and 3 elevenths. So what do we do with this one? Yeah. Eight over seven, sure. She said improper fraction. You're both right. So we have eight over seven. Can you tell me what I multiply by, please? 100 percent. 100%. 100%, yes. 100, 100 no. 100%, yes. 100% is one. 100 is 100. So we want 100%. That's going to give you 800 over 7%. Use your calculator, plug in 800 over 7, just press your equal sign. It'll reduce it for you automatically. And what do you get out of that, please? How much? Should 
should be 11s. No, it should be over 100, actually. We have 7. You still have a percent, right? Because that's the idea, is creating a percent. Now, real quick, real quick, with that on your calculator, with that on your calculator, there should be a button somewhere around there that says F arrow D. Do you see it? Press that button. F, and then it has a little arrow D. It's going to change it from a fraction to a decimal. You might have to press the shift or the second button to get there. If you struggle finding it, see me after class, I'll show you exactly where it is. But if you press that button, it'll change 114 and 2 sevenths into 114 point, like 2 something. Did you do it? What is it? 285. And it goes on forever, right? So you can also change these things, things into decimals. Use your calculator. 114.28 should be like 28 what? What's the rest of it? 28? It's uh, 5, 7, 7, So 286 then, if you round it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.